Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to be unboxing an Atlas crate. And I'm very, very excited to open this one up because I really enjoyed last month's. So I'm excited to see what this month's brings. And if you are new to my channel, I created this channel as a homeschooling resource to give you different unboxings like this that you could use as curriculum, to give you other curriculum ideas or to just show you organizational ideas. So if you're interested in those things, please hit that subscribe button below and let's get into this box. So this month is Japan. So it says make a carp windsock play the Ramu Otashi. <laughs> I have no idea. I do not speak Japanese and explore Japan. So I'm excited to open this and see what we have in here. So when we open it up, we can see our little card on top that will have all of our different activities in it. So we can open it up on the back. And these will be the cards we add to our booklet. You get a booklet when you first subscribe, they'll send you the world box and it'll have a booklet you can make. And then these cards have holes on the sides and you can add them to your booklet. So it has some cute little activities here. It usually has um, some different games or food you can make. That's at least last month was Italy and I'll link that up here so you can see it. But I'm excited to go through these and then I'll tell you about them when I review it for you. And then these are our little instruction cards. So this is the little windsock carp fish we're gonna make. And this is the game that I cannot pronounce. So that's what it looks like right there. And then we have our pieces. This looks like for our little wind chime that we're going to do. And then this has some Japanese writing on it, I think. I don't know what that's for. And then this is our, our, little, our little doll thing right here it looks like that's what this is and we have the different faces for it and different decorations for the doll and then our little uh carp that we get to decorate our little windsock and that's all that's in this box this month but i'm just really excited i feel like my kids have been enjoying this and it's worked well to do as a group so we're gonna get at it and i will let you know how it goes So we just finished doing the Atlas crate together as a group and we had a fun time doing it for the most part. <laughs> My kids are a little grumpy. They're a little stir crazy. We've gotten outside as much as possible, but they're going a little crazy today, especially. So hopefully tomorrow's better, but we still had a fun time doing it. So I'm just going to hold up a few of the things they got to make. So we were talking about Japan <laughs> and so we made this windsock here. And so it said, I think for Children's Day in Japan, they make carp wind socks like this. So that's what this says right here in Japanese is Children's Day. And my husband took some Japanese in college and he has some Japanese scriptures. So he was pulling them out and getting all excited seeing this and wishes he knew the language better because he just loves it and thinks it's beautiful. So that was very exciting for him. There was a lot of these little leftover pieces. So this is the decorations on the carp, the little fins or scales, I guess. So there was several left over. My kids actually started making little flowers with them and stuff. So you could use these for other crafts if you wanted to. So that was cool. And then the other thing that we got to sort of make, we didn't really make it. We put a face on it. So it's our little guy right here. And that's the face my kids chose. So there was six faces to choose from. And this is the one they wanted. And this is a fun little game. And I will insert some clips of us playing it, but you know, I tried it and did not hit it. So, <laughs> so. <laughs> so the goal is you stack it like this. And then you, this is the little hammer. And you're supposed to hit each one out 
without toppling it over and you want this one to just sit flat on the ground or on the table and that's how you win if you tip it over then you lose and so i try it and i just tip over my husband gets up there all confident and cocky and he just knocks it right out <laughs> and does it perfectly <laughs> and so he continued to show the kids there's a skill to it and i didn't know and so he continue to show them how to hold the mallet the correct way so that you can hit them out without knocking over the little person. So I thought it was fun. My kids had fun playing with it and it also helps with some of those fine motor skills and they can just pass it around and take turns playing the game. So a few other things. So again, here's the cards and they will go in this booklet. I just haven't put them in there yet. And then we got another sticker. So we've gone to Italy and to Japan right here and so those cards are already in here and then I'll add the Japan ones on the back. But, so just a few things it goes through and these are our little friends that kind of travel with us every month. So it talks a little bit about what they were doing and then it goes through some of the festivals or parties that they have there and it has the mountain, you know, so it gives you a little bit of a variety of things about Japan, not just one focus thing. So you could elaborate on all these things if you wanted to, or just focus on one thing. You know, if you wanted to focus more on maybe the geography of Japan and talk about that, you could use this card and elaborate that way. It talks about karate. And on this one, it actually gives you a few little moves you can practice, or I'm sure you can find a lot of things online. Again, if you wanted to do something more expansive with this, and then this is for, this is kawaii, kawaii, I don't, it's like Hawaii, but Jap Japanese style. <laughs> Anyways, and so this is uh, the art that they do. So it gives you a few examples on the back that they could try out and do if they wanted to. So I thought that was fun. And then this is rice roll up things. I. Sorry, I am not good at speaking Japanese at all. And so, but they are super cute right here, as you can see, and it gives you some examples on the back. So last month's also came with a recipe. So it looks like they generally come with recipes and then a few other activities that pertain to that country. So this was really a lot of fun and I feel like it worked really well with a group. So. With the fish, all we did is they each just took turns doing a row and you know, there's two sides. So they each got a couple turns and they went through and did the fish scales and they knew they were supposed to work together as a group. So I thought it worked fine with a group setting, but also it would look, work great with just one child as well, if that's what you want to do. So I'm really excited to see what country next month brings us. So please give this video a thumbs up and we will see you next time.